Okay, in usual me fashion, it's been approximately forever since I've done this, but I've been thinking about talking about these items for a while and I thought now in January and kind of sort of new resolution time, it's in January. But still, it's the beginning of the year, we're all trying to make some changes and these are things that my family is, are, is doing. These are things that my family is doing to try to be just a little bit more green. And I know the term green probably means something different to a lot of different people. And for me, I wouldn't call myself like a crunchy granola mom. I still do do a lot of things out of practicality um, that are easier. Um, but these are things that I could implement really quickly, really easily. And they've still been really easy for me and my family to do and to use. So these are five sort of green changes you can make in your home and not really notice you're doing them. So the first thing that we did, and we've do been doing this for about a year, uh, is we got these little floofy dryer balls instead of dryer sheets. Um, so the idea behind this is we got a pack of six for large loads and then you can use however many you want. Um, and you put them in the dryer and they are supposed to help um, separate your clothes and create space in between them in the dryer so that your clothes dry faster so you save electricity um, and they're also supposed to cut down on static cling um, and act kind of like your dryer sheet but it's all natural and it doesn't like rub chemicals all over your clothes so we've actually been really liking them I do notice that the clothes our clothes do dry especially if you're doing like a big load of towels or like jeans they do dry faster um, it is a little bit hard to give up that like smell of downy or gain that you're used to having in your clothes, but I have done the thing where you'd like drop little bits of essential oil in here and you can on one of these and then you can kind of get a scent that way if you're missing the scent. So we sometimes do lavender or I'll do like a stress, stress relief blend of different um, essential oils uh, and then you can still kind of have a scent in your clothes that way. And I think I'm willing to give up the scent in knowing that that scent is caused by a bunch of chemicals. Um, so yeah, so far these have been a win. And like I said, we got them a year ago and they're, they're still working. I think it says on the website um, that they last a thousand loads of laundry. And I think we were doing the math and for our family that's like two and a half years. So we should still have another year and a half on this investment. I think they were like $20, but I don't remember. I will link them below if you're interested and dryer food balls. Oh yeah, so far so good on this one and super easy. Bought it on Amazon, put them in my laundry. Don't take them out of the dryer unless they get stuck in something like your sheets and then you stick them back in. The next thing we did is we stopped getting plastic produce bags. This one's got stuff in it, but um, we stopped using the plastic produce bags that they have in the grocery store and we brought reusable ones. So we have two different kinds and this is where we put our produce. So when we go grocery shopping, we are, I don't know if every state does this now, but in the state of California, if you go grocery shopping, you pretty much, you have to either bring reusable bags or pay to have the paper or plastic bag. And it's 10 cents a bag. So we're pretty well trained at this point to always bring a reusable regular bag for your, most of your groceries, you know, like all of them. Uh, but they still provide produce bags in the produce department. And so, you know, we were thinking about ways we could eliminate some more plastic in our lives and this was a really easy solution and actually in our produce department um in sprouts and whole foods and i think safeway where we shop they have like a six pack of these in the produce department you know hanging off of like the thing of apples so really easy to find really easy to purchase so we got these ones first and these are great but they're not like if you want to buy like 12 apples it's not the best solution because they're not super heavy duty so then we went and bought these ones and these ones are color coded, which I guess is helped like the top of every one we have is a different color, which I guess if you're segregating your vegetables is helpful. Um, so, but these ones are really good if you're getting a lot of like heavy produce, if you're gonna get like a bag of potatoes. Um, I don't know if you can hear him, but my cat Jethro is having, hi, is having a drink of water right now. So that's what the slurping, the slurping sound is. Um, don't stop for me. Um, yeah, so we've been using these again for a few months now and they've worked great. Uh, and if you ask, if you're worried about um, paying for the weight of the bag, if you ask at the, um, when you're checking out for them to tear the weight, they'll weigh the bag. If you have an extra bag, they'll weigh it empty and then they'll take off that weight from your total 
um, weight of purchase. So if you're worried about that, if you're worried about paying extra just to use your own bag, then you can ask the, gro the checkout person at the grocery store and they'll take the weight off. So yeah, these also win and you can throw them in the laundry and wash them when they get dirty or you can just let them accumulate produce schmutz like I have. It's super convenient. So the next thing we have done, and this one is currently in use, is we're trying to use less plastic bags like I said, like the produce bags, but also just like food storage bags. So we're trying not to just like, when you pack a sandwich for lunch, not put it in a disposal bag and just you use it for four hours and you throw it away. Um, so we got these uh, stasher bags is what they're called. And it's just like a little resealable bag. And it's been working great. Like ours, we have hard, hard water here. So it was clear and now it's a little bit not so clear. Uh, but you can put it in the dishwasher. We just open it up and, you know, put it over, you know, two of the little things in the top of our dishwasher and it washes fine. And yeah, it seems to be a great solution. It has avocado in it right now. It seems to be fairly airtight. Um, washing it hasn't been a giant pain in the butt. Good for lunches, good for leftovers. We've been really enjoying these. Um, yeah. Stasher bags. We got three. We haven't bought more yet. They come in a couple different sizes. I think this is like the medium one, but they also come in like a snack bag size. And we haven't gotten those ones yet, but so far so good. I think we were mostly concerned about it being a pain in the butt to wash, but since they're dishwasher safe, it's a win. So stasher bags have been good. But I mean, they make a lot of other, um, if you go and look for reusable bags on Amazon, which is where I look for everything, they make a lot of other like cloth ones too. And we have some cloth Zip block um, zip ring ones as well that we use for like trail mix and stuff and those will work great. So reusable bag. Another thing, I don't actually have a picture of the actual product. Maybe I'll put one right in here somewhere. Um, but I do have the box because I knew I wanted to share it. So I saved the box for forever and then lost all the things that were inside the box. But these were reusable um, yogurt, applesauce, little kid food pouches. So, you know, like the food pouch is filled with squishy stuff. There's a little nozzle at the top, take the lid off, they eat the stuff. Um, we got, how many were in here? Six food pouches. They lasted forever. We got these last year. They lasted like six months, um, which was great. Our kids, or our three-year-old could use it fine. We didn't have, I was worried at first that she was going to get it squeeze it and all the stuff was going to shoot out of the bottom because it had like a zipper bottom and then the pouch and then the lid at the top uh, but it worked it worked fine um we actually lost all of them well they ended up being disposable we used them for about six months and then my daughter started a new preschool and we just had a hard time communicating to all the staff members that they were reusable we tried writing her name on them we tried writing to do not throw away in marker but inevitably over the course of a month they one by one all got thrown away at lunchtime um, and we haven't repurchased since then, but it's definitely on my to-do list to get those again, especially now, um, we stopped, we, you know, they got all got thrown away, but I think at that point we had mostly trained everybody that they were reusable. So now we have just like the disposable applesauce, uh, pouches and they keep coming home in the lunchbox, the ones that are totally disposable. But, so we got these ones, they were called nature's little squeeze. Uh, they were a five ounce pack I was worried that they'd be a pain in the butt to refill they really weren't you just kind of hold it open and you can just spoon whatever you're going to use in you do have to plan ahead a little bit um because it's more ideal to fill up all six at once with yogurt or applesauce whatever you want to fill them with any of your homemade purees if you make your own baby food um rather than trying to fill them up on an as needed basis of my kid wants yogurt and they're hysterical and and now I'm trying to fill a pouch but other than that, they were great. So we, yeah, we use this one. I know there's a lot of different kinds, uh, but this one worked great, washed well, it was awesome. So definitely gonna have to look at getting more of these. Uh, and it says they were, I knew they were dishwasher safe. We threw ours in the dishwasher, but they're also freezer safe. So if you do make your own baby food, you can make a bunch in advance and freeze it and not worry about it. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and it says the packaging and pouches are recyclable at the end of their life. So I'm not, I'm not sure that ours were recycled, but it looks like you can recycle them. So you can use them and use them and use them. And then when you're done, recycle them. So yes, I would recommend these. Uh, do be mindful of the caps. We had many cap fall in the garbage disposal or, or almost get thrown away. Um, so I think that you can buy the caps separate too. That would be the only thing you might think about ordering more of. But yeah, these were great. And then the last thing we've been trying to do is not use so many paper towels. So 
we have a roll of paper towels on our kitchen counter. We're just used to them being there. I grew up in a house with a roll of paper towels on the kitchen counter. And all of a sudden I started thinking like how mindlessly I use one and I don't even use a whole like one to its full extent. Like it's like, oh, a little, one drop of milk spilled a whole paper towel and throw it away. And we even use the like choose your own adventure paper towels. You know, the ones that come in like smaller pieces, select a size ones. But even still, sometimes you don't need a whole paper towel. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized how many times I don't need a paper towel at all. So we've been trying to kind of make it a game. We've been putting a date when we open a new roll of paper towels on the inside of the cardboard, you know, the roll, put the date that you started it and to see how long we can make it last. And our goal is always to have it be a month or more. Um, so instead of using paper towels, we've been using just dish towels because it turned like when I have two kids, I'm already doing the total crazy amount of laundry. Washing like four more dish towels a week is really not going to push me over the edge. I just throw it in with all the laundry of like bed sheets and regular towels and don't much think about it. Um, so for just like spills and stuff on the ground, we just got the, these are Target room essentials. I think I got a bar towel. I think I got a pack of six for like $3.99. They're pretty cute. I'm not super worried about them getting totally trashed, like wiping up things that might stain. They're totally washable. I think that this is a really great instead of paper towel solution. I have seen and considered doing the Pinteresty DIY where you make like a, it's a roll of paper towels, but the towels are cloth, so you can still have it on your counter and pull one out. But I don't, I don't know. This I just hang on my door of my oven. It's just as easy and I didn't have to make anything. So I, maybe I'll do that. Um, and then for like wiping down tables and things like more cleaning, we've also invested in some um, Norwex. These are the Enviro cloth, the travel size. I like the travel size better than the big size because I find the big size just a little too unwieldy. Like this I'll just use for one day and then throw in the wash. I feel like for whatever reason, um, like letting it sit out all week can get funky, seems weird. So I got some of these and they're supposed to, they're like a microfiber and they're supposed to clean like the same as a Lysol wipe, like 99.9% .9 effective at cleaning germs and stuff. And I mean, I haven't noticed an increase of sickness since I started using them and I'm not throwing a bunch of stuff away. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, so yeah, we got um, Norwex is, you have to buy it through a consultant. I'll link the name of mine below. Um, Megan, she's super nice. Hi Megan. Um, but yeah, they've been great. They're a little pricey, but it's one of those if you take care of them, they should last a really long time thing. I will say that we still um, use paper towels to clean up things like um, bodily fluids that might happen if you have kids or pets. Uh, but for anything else, we have been trying to use this and this and then just throw stuff in the laundry. And that's been working out great. And now Shmoo, our cat, is coming to join me. So I'll wrap it up here. But those are five things that we've changed in our family to try to be just a little bit greener and feel better about how we're impacting the earth. And so far, it's working. I feel better. Uh, if you have any ideas of, and things that you've done in your family that have been easy to enact and you haven't felt like that they were very challenging, I feel like those are the easiest ones to start with as you're like looking at different ways you could help your impact on the environment, let me know. Um, and that's it. Hope everybody's having a great, a great day. And I hope it's nap time where you are. Bye. Hey, smoosh. Hi.